What's up, you witches and wizards? We're back. And as you can tell, we're going to be playing some Hogwarts Legacy today. We're going to be a wizard. We're going to see if my hat will stay on. Yo, what's up, Ty? What's up, baby? This is the second stream. We're back. Uh, I'm excited to play it. I'm I'm prepped. I I just bought it today. I uh, I couldn't I couldn't resist it. Oh, I believe it. Catch me in 24 hours. <clears throat> I'll still be on. <laughs> Let's see. But as you, I got it all set up, Ty. I spent the last three days getting it all looking nice and professional the best I could. We'll have to do some dual streaming sometime. I'll come visit on your page. You come visit on mine. Uh, maybe you could show me a few of your pointers, what I can do. I bet. So let's get this underway. I'm so excited. I'm ready for the, the music. I'm ready for the soundtrack. Bet. First time loading up fresh copy. You're the man. Yeah, we in here. We're not colorblind, thankfully. We'll mess around with cursors once we get in there. Yeah, this should be all good. Oh, it's probably picking up my controller. I can play with my controller. Let's see what's up with that. Yeah. Except the the stuff that we never, never ever. Oh wait, let's see. Connected. We're good. We've made it. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just ready to cast some spells here. All right. Yeah, all right, we got it on the screen. Well done. We're House Pufflepuff. We got the unicorn hair wand with the apple wood. Your game experience will be customized and beat school mask. House fan fanatic school room will become available as gear appearance options. Yay. Since I got the Hogwarts Legacy, I get to ride on Onyx Hippogriff. Now, it's a black hippogriff. Hell yeah, sleek. New mounts are accessible in gear menu after the default hippogriff is unlocked in the main quest line. We got the dark arts. Here we go, to Ty. I'm gonna be rocking it too. Look, look how badass that is. It's got a little skull. It looks like a little skull in there. Oh, yeah. The hat. Yeah, it's got the skull. Yeah, this is a vibe. I'm going to look a little darker than that. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Those are fly, too. I want one of these in real life. All right. Enough of all the paperwork. Let's get to the game. I'm cool. I believe you did. Y'all did the right thing. Really visible. That's good to me. Cool. Let me see. I'm supposed to be getting some volume. Oh, we're muted. That's why we're... There we go. It was a little awkwardly quiet in here. Good now. All right. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Dang, I must have failed all my classes. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restrictions of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. Well, if I'm a fifth year, I'm probably older than 17. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elzar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle from the start for the start of your term, feast, and the sorting ceremony. Oh, it's Weasley! Professor Weasley! Oh, yeah. When I heard Weasley, I was thinking maybe I thought it was a female. I thought it might be Hermione. All right, we need the longest hair looking boy on here. Let's see. He looks kind of soft. I'm sure I can change the hair after this. Oh, we got the Justin Bieber flip. Let's go. This looks closest to me. Need long eyelashes, so we'll just start with him. He's a good base. Oh yeah. Face shape. I'm not a good judge of this. That does not look like my face. But let's see. Just gonna stick with the classic first one. I ain't trying to get too wild. Some darker, no, that's too dark. It looks like, I guess that's what I look like in the summertime. That looks good. Oh, we got glasses just like I'm rocking. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it more authentic. I don't wear glasses. Let's see. Long hair, wook boy, long hair, wook boy. Oh shit. Man, I want I want my hair to look more like that. Look how luscious. Oh, I don't have bangs. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. They have dreads. Oh my god. And cornrows. Yo. I can't believe they have dreads in here. I think I might run dreads. Low key, high key. That's funny as heck. And they got all the hairstyles. My hair's not curly. Oh shit, I might run dreads. 
I kind of want to, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Alright. Dreads or long hair? Alright, we're doing dreads. Screw it. We're running dreads. Um, complexion. I don't have any freckles. Let's see. Any scars? Looking like a thug. Like I've been been in some war. Yeah, we're not going. I'm keeping pure skin. <clears throat> I got some thicker eyebrows. Let's see. Those look pretty accurate right there. I'm not getting all into it too much. Need. Let's see, green. Oh, dang, purple would be cool. Takes a minute to update. Those are pretty. Oh, there we go, green. Let's see. I think the second one would be good. We got brown. Pink, nice. I'm just gonna run that. Hey, could I choose my hair color back here? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna start looking like Chase here soon. Rest in peace, the dreads. Right, that's cool. It was wonderful. I believe a few cobwebs. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I am indeed a student, but I a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. We're just going to go with something. the middle here. Oh, I want to come up with a cool name. Uh, I guess I could just be Drew. Chains. Actually, I'm gonna look real quick. Oh yeah, here's a Harry Potter James. Name generator, we're gonna see what's going on.
All right, fancy name generator. Let's do this. Dick Potts, Jose Gerbil, Oswald Horstel, Pierre Bucket, Lauren Toad, Jet Light. Crane, Phlox, Brook, Fledge, Fledgling, Cricket, Hogan's. Oh, there's one making toads. These are funny. Wood Philly. Alright, we're just running this Drew Chains. There's too many funny names on there. And we're gonna run Wizard. Start the journey. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Here. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh, <laughs> Eliazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. Dude, them dreads look around, fly. I say I best not speak here, Eliazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I'd been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Spoilers. I'm excited. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yeah, yes, I sir. See them I'm trying to say starting my name. school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. 
Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume... And she had to get rid of it quickly, to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Uh, How did you wait? We did. What the heck? Oh, shit. <laughs> Go! Oh, dang. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh god. Come on, we need some skydiving. Nice. Oh my god. This is how the game's starting. Oh shit. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't yeah. believe he... And the, the driver's the gone. into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? Poor driver of the carriage is done. The typical dragon would never... Like, we won't Professor. see him again. Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But wow, that key you discovered was clearly a portkey. Portkey? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. I'm one of those people that goes backwards first just to double check. It's always something strange sometimes. All right, cool. Oh, we got the wand at the ready. Oh, yeah. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than <laughs> the carriage traveled. We played too many We're games like this. Somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think. The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I mean, it's a pretty clear path here. Mind your step. Oh. 
Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? Oh, these A good graphics question. are sick. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself oh a God. stronghold of that ancient magic. Oh my God, it didn't fall. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Oh, oh thank the you. Down below. This way. Thank you for the follow. I think I know who that is. But sir, <laughs> why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. Yeah, but magic see. is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. I need to put my... Let me put this up real quick. I have an emoji, emoji wall that I can add. So when the emotes come up. Let's see. Oh. Just give me the vote wall. Alright, cool, we got it, we're good now. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Oh yeah, we got to catch our on first the spell. Center. Oh yeah. Excellent. The natural. a bit rougher than I'd expected. Oh yeah, we're, we're casting spells now. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. These pods don't stand a chance. Yep, see, this is why we run backwards, guys. We got a secret chest. Let's see if my moat wall works now. Let's see. Yeah, it works. Let's go. We're close now, it's just ahead. Get 
Steady yourself! for a second. You know, we're out here sharing the link, trying to get the homies in here to watch. Almost there! This is such a beautiful game. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. May I show your surroundings? Oh. I want that golden cup on the ground. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. That's beautiful graphics. around here first so that Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Someone have conjured that enchanted stone here. And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. It's 
touch it. Yeah. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Oh, the heck yeah. Yeah, this place is cool. Reminds me of the bank. Hello. Green guys bank. moment. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Precisely. The key your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Oh, thank you, Willie. After you. We're on that journey to a hundred. The, the, the okay, ride at the car. Bring God's Bank at Universal is amazing. All the rides at Universal are amazing, but Green Gods, it's you really feel like you're flying around in there. It's freaking insane. How many volts are there in Green Gods? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Heck yeah, well, we're headed to the vault. You want to take a breath? A what? Oh. That waterfall <laughs> washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that awesome. we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Yeah. That... that... Vault number. That goblin's arms are Vault massive. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Oh, what's that on his arm? This goblin was driving. Glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porking stage. seems really sweet darker. for a goblin. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. When was the last time this vault was accessed? Yeah. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. 
I'm definitely glad I went with the dreads. It's so funny how long their arms are. They literally could touch the ground. Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. Please be a lot of money in here. Please be a lot of money in here. Please be a lot. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you the might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Oh, hell no. Wait. What? Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Oh. Think. I just saw there must something. Be something here. Mm. This is such a great start to a game. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the odd one. My controller is really sensitive. Get the feel of it. Alright, bad. Yeah, let's go. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. Wait, let me that's see that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. That's behind the door. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you yeah, I was just trying to go to school. Test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. The will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Trying to Revelio out of here. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Revelio. Oh shit. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow. It suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. I bet. Hmm. 
New spell, let's go. We got the new spell. Let's go. Oh. Revelio. No. Oh, there Lumos. We go. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Follow the light, fam. Always follow the light. Yeah, I've been slaying pots left and right. Look out! Potato. Shit. That's the best way to start a game ever. Let me Oh, heck yeah. Let's go, big. Oh, oh, God, they're behind me. Oh, how did I die? I'm trying to die. Okay, cool. That battle is epic. So Professor, epic. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? Of course, this during good. Christmas, I watched every single Harry Potter movie all through, all back to back. It was amazing. This isn't good. Oh. Lumos. Revelio. Where am I supposed to go? Lumos. Oh What's yeah, happening? we got chess. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio. Chest over here. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Checking this whole place out. Protego. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Oh, I went too far, I guess. Lumos. Revelio. Oh, there's a chest over here. Lumos. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Total of three, three chests. Revelio. Lumos. This part of the game. Revelio. Let's go run again. Oh. 
Alright, so Lumos. if you go too far, it'll just respawn you back. Revelio. Lumos. Go again. I don't think it's okay. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Alright, a little Lumos. puzzle. like a potion. Uh, 
Oh, yay. There you are. How did you... What is this place? Because I'm a prodigy. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Oh, it's like a, a double door head. Follow my lead. It's giving me chills right now. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. If we are correct, Charles. The ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Hell nah. <coughs> Evil red eyes. Uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. Yeah, everything's I, looking good. I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key. I love this bank teller. No, don't. What? Oh, hell no. Nah, he's no going down. For traitors. He wasn't a traitor. He's doing no. what he's supposed to. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Yeah, you upset everybody. Holy shit. Let's go. You're done, Ragnarok. Oh, come on. You could have hit him. Come on, help him out. Professor 
Ooh. What a great game. Holy shit. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. What a great game. This is... I am hooked from the jump. It's, the writer did a great job with this. We finally truly get to live the Hogwarts world. The Harry Potter world. Let's go! I'm so excited. Oh man, what a beginning to a game. Holy moly. That was that was intense. That was a great tutorial on how to play the game. Wow. That's intense. I'm so glad I just decided to buy this today. I was like, screw it, I can't oh, handle good. it anymore. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. There we go. Now, wish I had I that kind of magic to get dressed can, for shows. But first I must contact the ministry. I word. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting oh ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. I miss Dumbledore. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. I thought Have a this. Seat. Uh, I almost thought they did like an old Hermione for this Professor Weasley. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. 
things. Certain expectations. Exploring. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. No, maybe I should run Hufflepuff. I got Hufflepuff when I signed up for this, uh, the, my account, my Harry Potter fan club. <clears throat> Yeah, we're just gonna run this. We're just gonna run Hufflepuff. We're gonna play this game multiple times. We're gonna be all the different houses eventually. So we'll just run with the beginning. Better be Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Best house we're gonna be. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? No. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. Or we're playing you Quidditch. are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. This headmaster sucks. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Oh, Professor Weasley saying, already seems sweet. I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is oh, the entrance. Indeed. What the heck? I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back it's in a the morning. It's a pretty easy like password. Class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh, she's so sweet. Graphics are beautiful. Wow. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room.
Oh, we got the chocolate frog. Got some candies over here. Let's go. Rebellion. Is there anything secretive in here? No. Spot the tea. Let's go. Another apple, you know, for our own good health. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, already somebody talking about me. We got some chests. Somebody catch me in some chests. I'll play anytime. Revelio. Lenora. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. All right, brother. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. It's a windy I'll out there. Company, so anyway. Take your time. Wait, you're the Love new Love you fifth very year. much. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly... out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenore Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course, <coughs> I do. I do. Arthur's got you. You don't need to be Someone frightened. Oh, cat. look at the little cacti. They're dancing. This that's cool. Uh, I can't That's a big cat. Reach. Uh, come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. 
don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. Magical beasts I think are magical lit. beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> One second, guys. Let's see. I got this new chair. It's got a back massager in it, but it makes my computer think that there's some kind of drive getting put in. Let's see. Might not pop up. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Plug this into something else later. How did I? Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by all a right, dragon? Alright brother, thank you for hopping in and giving me a viewer. Just hit me up. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Aw, thanks, Adeline. Adeline. Are you sure everything is alright with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. You're around, darling. And good luck. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Oh, hell yeah.
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. That's a cool way to carry Thank a book you, around. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you Rebellion. to your surroundings. Do keep up! Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Oh yeah, we're gonna be whipping it in the kitchen. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, yeah. So our students pressure those and lose the house color. Tower library and greenhouses, cool. I'm ready for some more pew pew time.
I need some more pew pew times. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the Revelio. park quickly from Central Hall. Wow. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. As a monk boy, I used to feel I had a lot of work to do if I wanted to catch up. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Wesley. All those things A lot already. to absorb on your first day. I've and you have much the to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional I wonder if there's anybody out there that has not the seen the movies You'll be up to speed but is no playing time. this game right Judging now. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip mm. up to the castle. Oh, lie or not lie. We're just we did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Yeah, somebody is out to get me. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor key. Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Keep Come taps and find on me, me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Finally, I'm free to go do what I want. I wouldn't just rather be a muggle. Do you find it hard to get the right consistency in the confusing concoction? I can never get mine to thicken. Guys, this is probably the best purchase I've made in a while. Shout out to my roommate for letting me work. I swear we'd be more uplifted in potions All right. There is something over here I need to go check out. Revelio. Dude, get this. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? No, I shouldn't should have said that. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. 
I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments and or quest rewards. Cool. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional Mr. craftsman Ollivander. and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more so information I... about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Revelio. Ugh, what am I missing? Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Big fat man statue, staircase, lock. Bet you I already feel like I know where it is. Nope. 
on other students' books. Have you been in any other comments? Revelio! Oh, here we go. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? There's a moth right here. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, yeah. Moths love light. Solve the puzzle of that empty frame. Let's go. Revelio. I heard something ding. That's the interesting thing. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. She says Matt she's sharp. Too. She's quick with So is Meat. Although he does tend to over explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth. I should have seen that. Oh, we're leveling up. Let's go. 15 HP. Oh, we can just spin this, friend. Revelio. Like that. Cool. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I'll just go to class. Be a good boy. <clears throat> Let's go see what's going on. It's over here. Revelio. All right, this is a puzzle. Twenty one. Is that a dragon? Six now. It's got to be connected, right?
too much is going on. Catch up everything. Alright. Everything's gotta load. Stay with me here. Revelio! This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of Re Reverend on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cat Catagon, this is most assuredly not meant to be the Reverend of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Cool, cool, cool. Revelio. Glitchy here. Let's see, maybe we can fix this. I got some birdie beat, birdie butt bots, uh, everlasting beans. So we're gonna try some of these out. Take a break for a moment. So we're gonna see what this tastes like. Hmm, what was that? Beans, beans, magic fruit. Yes. That one. Yep, that was definitely black pepper. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. That tastes like soap. Mmm, yum. Soap. Alright, let's try this one. Please don't be earwax. I think that was... I don't know what that one was. Let's see. Oh god. Uh, all right, that one was so terrible. It was the grass. I getting stuck on a tea. What was that? I guess that was tutti frutti. Oh, that's that's dirt. Yeah, that was dirt.
Don't we all love the taste of dirt? Have me a little hard Hogwarts spot. It's our choices that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Albus Dumbledore. I'm not gonna lie, the soap ones actually taste good. Alright. Well, enough of that. Mmm. I just had a candy floss one. It's so good. Alright. Let's see. Trying to, it's getting a little laggy on here. I'm trying to make sure things are smooth for us here. Revelio. Oh, we got a spawn point right here. Nice. Our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. Are you talking to me? If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. A hundred and forty-two access, and this is where they put me. Sounds like the, this painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and dark wizard Rasidian by con conjuring a mouse Patronus. He used a small little mouse to defeat this evil guy. I wonder if they're going to make any references to Harry, Harry in here. I would not be mad. Revelio. I'm just gonna go to class. Rebellion. All right, time to begin the quest. You'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. Oh God, that's no doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Damn, girl. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care oh, to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? 
One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Master these spells now. Levioso. It was definitely Leviosa. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. I hope it now, keep I lagging. want a fair duel using only Levioso, Basic Cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Potato! You're good. How deceptive. Stupid Potato. This can't be your first duel. Let me know so. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. If only all my students from this again. Yeah, good stuff, boy. Father, good this, aren't you? Let me know so. I know. I do enjoy my duel. Anticipate your opponent's next move. Not bad for a beginner. Get wrecked, you give kid. as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, in here, we can expect great things you from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow mm, will have some cinnamon. ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Candy floss of gas. Huh, always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Fruity's gas. Black pepper. Mm. Finish it all off. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thanks, cuties. Revelio. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Not one of dark wizards coming at you. Nice work. I enjoyed that. 
Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the uh, way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, oh, fair yeah. enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Oh, Whether boy. it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever this enough not to, to no get good. caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. If it seems I'm after, I'll always go to the Magic Kingdom. I've upset Madame Green one too many times now. She won't soon be welcome back to Dorothy. Just a cup of tea with my old chats. Let's see what's going down upstairs for charms class. Oh, let's see. Revelio. Oh, another one of these, nice. Lumos. Sweet kitty. Love the kitties. Revelio. What are you up to now? Lumos.
let's go. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I don't see why I keep hearing her voice. Bugs. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. A we sometimes have to remind him to Rebellion. Don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Everybody. Let's do it. New another class. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Oh God, Ronan that's right, Nettie. <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome oh to year God. five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Killing these spells. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking, we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Hey, time to go outside. It was so beautiful today. The weather was really nice. Ooh. I was in need of a good, good story game. Hi. 
I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Friendly chirping. <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish Accio. the charm at the last boss. Excellent. Now, uh, stay focused. Uh. Don't lose your composure! Splendid! Stop, 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 wow. to the best of us. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Yeah, let me do it again. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us do this. Damn. You wrecked me. Here. All right, too early. Excellent. Here we go. She's gotta be cheating. Come on, knock yours off. Alright, I gotta knock hers that off for the win. Done. Come on, knock it off. That's oh. it. I want to play her again. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Oh my A god. Perfect score. Remarkable. 
Wow, that was close. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed Dang, I wanna go to Wagadu. overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember wow, the first time beautiful. I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. It's nice. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. After my... Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. A word, if you would. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Revelio. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I My trust your first like charms scary. lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Let's go. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. 
<laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Goblins, werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the, end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> He's a wily character. Interesting. This is going to be interesting to figure out. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so single foot. Seven, ten. There's ten on here. Do I need the second one? Maybe. Maybe it's the fifth one. Do the second one. And the unicorn. Oh. Kitty loves. All right, Kitty, go on somewhere else. I'll right, we'll do the first one. Maybe I should try the door each time. Oh shit, I figured it out. Alright, why was that? Why did I figure that out though? I need to figure out why that was. Why I figured that out. Revelio! Seven plus two is nine. Three. I think the number was twelve on there. So three. I think I've. I think I got it now. Let's see if I can figure out the other one. 
I'd make a marvelous chase dog. Revelio. You think Garrett Revelio, Revelio, Revelio. would be better at transfiguration, considering his aunt teaches the thing? My cousin was transfigured into a mouth by now. Revelio. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmies. It's a foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballot. Once one can only imagine the impact on the art had he succeeded. Oh my gosh. This place is huge. Revelio. I'm trying to see what's at the top of here. Let's see what's going on. We're going to see who can stay up there. This thing literally just keeps going up. Revelio. Oh, they're on brooms. I'm just running around this castle just taking money out of random chests.
off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Revelio. Hey, here's the other one. Oh, there's got to be another one around here. up to now. Found a spawn point. Cool. The other little two things gotta be around. You just have to get back on. Revelio. The statue is in great Gracian Grand depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Samari. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's Unconscious unction. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Where are you leveling up? Rebellion! Where is this other spot? I was going to try out for I've always said that travel broadens. Oh, it's up there. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so eleven. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that needs to be that tree-looking one for the first one. No, those are trees. Oh wait, the dragon, so three, that makes 14, 21 minus 14 is six, wait, six, seven, seven, so three, it's gotta be the lizard looking guy. All right, and then this one, crabby looking guy, Three, six, sixteen, sixteen, plus one would be the weird owl looking guy. Alright, let's see what we got. So many interesting things. Seems rather dull in the hamlets around here. I find it. Equal seventeen. Maybe this side's one. One plus. Oh no, one. Three, four, five, six. So maybe there's the other side, so one plus five plus six. Well, that can't be it. 
has to be Gotta be that old guy. I could jump out of both of them. Maybe it works on halves. Oh, no, that couldn't be. I don't know, we'll figure that one out later. Took a shot and I lot the dark and Accio that thing to me. Nice. Revelio. I get in over here. Yeah. More kitties. Oh, slow down. Down. How nice to see you, my young friend. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Dee. Oh, it's a cute hobby. <laughs> oh, excuse, Deke. Ah. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley, 
We're fortunate to have someone like oh, you nice. nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Yeah, a butterbeer. The butterbeer when you go to Universal is so good. You definitely get a, a, a mustache from the, the foam. It is non-alcoholic, so anybody can drink it. So your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that when complete reward you with new spells. The rewards for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Rapero, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of the field guide. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, I want to check her off. Rebellion. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Oh yeah, new magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Oh yeah, let's go do it. Let's see what we got going on here. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. That's it. I pushed the wrong button. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. There you are. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. That you was clearly too easy. know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, 
Wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Damn, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Try. First try. Let's go. All right, time to repair some stuff. Nice. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken <laughs> statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Makes sense. Repairer. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. Accurate. There's chest in here? Revelio. Oh, it must be inside, yeah. See, we need to track this quest. Select stuff. Oh, we got gloves on. We're looking fancy. Scarf looks alright. I like the scarf. Cool. Oh, let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, the, yeah. Now we're talking. We look like we're like a badass already. Oh, we get hood up. Oh, whoa. Got different styles too. Oh, whoa. We're fancy. Dark arts. Yep. So. Definitely going dark hearts. Look at that. That's, that's badass. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. We're badass now. We look good.
I wonder if I put glasses on. Can I change appearance? Oh, yeah. Oh, that just looks too dark, though. Those are pretty fly, though. Pretty fly for a white guy. Let's see what the headwear is. Now I just look like a pirate. Super lit. Crack quest. Let's go. Okay, I could just run over there. It's not that far. He's just gonna sit right in front of me. Alright, let's see fam, let's go let's go to the Hogsmeade. Revelio. Should get rid of a lot of them. Wish our common boy. Oh dear, I shall get Is everything alright? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not alright. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. 
I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Levioso! Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day, that is, until Garrus splashes, splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Think he knows everything there is to know about potions? Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. A broth smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm cook becoming more per partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Alright, let's see if we can find the rest of these books. Revelio! Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm so pleased to be included. Revelio. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumors is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for no noisy students. It was known for his liberal use of the silencing charm on the sl at the slightest sneeze. Or I saw it right there. Oh, there it is. Akio! Alright, the other one's gotta be. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that was a page. Level up, let's go. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. What's that noise? Glad this we don't knock people down in this. Revelio. Mr. Black, might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking in the restrictive section. And Cat Cressida Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal area arena in which to practice her latest incantations. 
It's most disruptive. One might consider peas tamed by comparison to the, such antics. No magic in the library. What an interesting doors to get in here. Don't worry, Cressida, I got you back, homie. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. I find the place is a little unusual. Revelio. To the spot. I am tracking it. I was tracking it. Rebellion. I wish they'd let Ronan teach the entire curriculum. Charms is the only one. The fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Unless you're anticipating the point. Off oh, on another adventure, are we? For me, Revelio. Horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. The horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hog's Head in with the wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. another one of those things let me go up here and check this out real quick oh I can't all right find that one later Revelio. allegedly the location of the first known instance of an arguably successful casting of Bombarda data known caster unidentified oh my gosh plaster to the wall at least you didn't do what that Alright, we're going with Natty. Let's do this. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Off to the town we go, Hogsmeade, let's roll.
probably going to do this and then I'm going to take a break probably for the evening, get off, go do some other something else. But this game's got me addicted. I have to work a long shift tomorrow and I have a, I have a show that I'm probably going to get full send to. So, we shall see. I was glad Professor Weasley was to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air wow, after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Oh, the Great mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you Rebellion. would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Come on, stick with the game. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit oh, at Christmas, but that's for, one of the few times of year spring. I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Revelio! Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Come on, game, stick with it. Wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. <laughs> oh, these flowers are funny. Quick, that was kind of scary. It's like, wow, don't go too far away from him. Look from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Can't wait to ride my hippogriff. Rebellion. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Prance hoop and sugarfoot. Have to go down there and get those some other time. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students. As the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside oh, there's of the I can actually see the people pulling the carriage, that's interesting. Yeah, it might be not till Saturday that I'll be back on. So we continue our journey then. Isn't Sebastian Sally's family? 
How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Revelio. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? <gasps> oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. <gasps> what did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Revelio. You say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Start skipping when it's loading new things of the game. Hopefully, once I've played enough, it'll. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Duke's. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Oh, Ollivander. I can't wait to get my and new I'm wand. to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Alright, let's see. Hugs me. Oh, we're going to get my wand right now. Merlin's blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand? Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, 
Give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Oh, that's a little fancy. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. No. Nope. Oh, dear. It's not the one. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Ten and three quarter inches. Oh, this is the one that they gave me in the game or gave me in my like thing curious indeed how intriguing Curious indeed. Oh, one. Hmm. How intriguing. Curious indeed. I like the knots. How intriguing. Just stick with what they did me. I'm just gonna stick with what I got. I'll let the game provide. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> we got a wand, let's roll. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find right, no yeah, more let's, dependable let's a wand than one with a unicorn out. hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. 
Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. <laughs>